from Drifting Manx with my uh, rather uh, pink pickup body shell on here. So what's the idea behind this? What's this video about you're asking? RC lights. Uh, a group of my friends uh, run their cars every Saturday night but they said you're gonna need to fit RC lights to your car Richie. And then I thought do I want to do that? Or do I want to do something else? But I wanted to do something a little bit different. Sorry if it sounds funny. That's because it's in the bathroom because it's the only place that's dark in the house. Why? That's why light LEDs that run off a 12 volt system that are fitted to the car. I'm sure you step by step exactly how to do this. I've got everything you need if you want to do the same thing uh, in a link below the video. The black light lights up things like uh, that white, like the t-shirts going white in them. Uh, what I've done is use that bright pink fluorescent body which is going to sort of zap out that black light effect. So let's say we did it. To subscribe if you do like this video. On with exactly how we uh, got that uh, black light effect on there. First things first, you're going to need a body that's sort of either fluorescent, like a bright pink like this, a lime green, a fluorescent orange, or a pure white colour, uh, in order that a black light um, does its thing on there. It's the same effect that they use in nightclubs that make your t-shirts glow white. So, relatively easy to do, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, step by step. Okay, when it comes to the batteries for the LED lights, unlike normal LEDs, they're 12 volt LEDs, which means you're going to need 8 double uh, A batteries to uh, to power the thing. You can get battery boxes that hold 8 AA batteries just as one unit, but I already had one of these uh, that held four uh, spare, so I just went and bought another one from the local model shop. Got some super glue in one second, just gonna glue the two of them uh, together. But first of all, the wiring, the important bit. Um, each of these battery boxes, this type of connector, one that uh, goes into a, a receiver, is the kind of one that you're gonna need for the top for connecting to lights, but I'll show you that in just a second. More importantly, the battery connections to get it to your 12 volts you're going to need to put these two in series if you don't if you happen to use two of these rather than one uh, eight to hold a battery so you're going to need to go from positive to negative one positive leading going up to that and i have spliced the other one in up to there just going to solder them with a soldering iron and wrap some tape around the joints I've, uh, soldered both the uh, wires so i'm just going to tidy those up with some uh, tape in a minute but first of all it's got a bit overboard with the crazy glue on here and uh, stick the two battery boxes together so they're not flopping around inside the car. Should be plenty. Just push those together nice and hard. Okay, the next bit. Um, this is a Futaba uh, receiver switch which I've fitted in here and linked through uh, into the lights, which I'm going to come on to uh, in just a second. I need a bit more explanation. Sorry. I've had to splice the uh, wires coming from the lights into another receiver connector, which goes into uh, this switch here. And the battery power is going to go into this here. So you're going to be able to remove the, um, the body from your car with the lights without having to take the battery back. At least that's my idea anyway. So I'm just going to quickly solder these two together, get those taped up. Okay. Now I've just put some uh, blackened electrical insulation tape over my uh, soldered uh, joints on there. So that's that battery box ready to go, glued together nice and tight. On the car, I've done the same thing. Soldered the two wires that I uh, spliced into in between the switch and uh, the lights here. Now, moving on to the lights. I've not done a super fancy job, was getting them on in uh, a little bit of a hurry. You could probably do better, giving it a bit more time. Now, they are self-adhesive. However, I found out they don't adhere particularly well to the painted surface inside here. So I've put little spots of super glue underneath them uh, as I've gone around. So uh, let's get the body on my car and uh, see the finished product. The purpose is I put a Velcro strap typing these batteries uh, to the main battery. You might want something a little more secure though, uh, depending on the train you're going over and what car you're fitting it on. So in the, uh, the wiring out, doing a little bit of crude tidying up here. Just use the uh, zip lock here, just through a hole in uh, one side of the switch, which I've super glued the switch onto the back. So, so we're gonna plug this lead into here when I've got the body on, flick the switch, and let's see what happens. Well, I hope you like this video. If you did, then please do subscribe. By all means, share with friends. Very simple, you could do this pretty much on any car body uh, that you wanted to. And lastly, it looks its best run at night in pitch black. I'm sort of sat here in the basement at the minute, but there is a, like a little bit of light, but it certainly works absolutely brilliantly at night. Well, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. And if you want to buy your RC gear, where I buy mine, buy from FNM Hobbies in New Jersey. 
Many thanks for watching.